Shay, can you tell if we are on? Yes, you are streaming live. We to are Facebook. live. Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. Happy uh, Wednesday hump day in our beautiful uh, Duke City. Uh, thank you for um, being patient with us. We had to slightly move the time and then we had a little bit of technical difficulty getting started, but we are uh, waiting on uh, trying to bring Mr. Leroy Pacheco on from the loan fund. Um, so give us a, a few minutes to get that going. But in the meantime, if you all could just um, uh, get ready for some exciting news today. We are working uh, with our small business resource uh, series hosted by Square Inc. All of our friends up in the Bay Area supporting small business nationwide. And also our friends and partners on the technology end of what we're doing today, New Mexico Tech. And today we have Shay with us. Um, so if anything happens, he's our backup plan. And so I hope he's got plan A, B, and C ready there at New Mexico Tech. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. <clears throat> today we're going to be joining by the the dream uh, the group over at dream spring we're also going to be uh joined by native community capital and hopefully the loan fund so in a minute we're going to introduce everybody but i wanted to start out by saying first of all the reason that we do this series is so that we can bring the um, details, the, the questions that you guys have to the small businesses uh, here going through all of this COVID and how do we adjust and, and get through this time, especially with lending options. And so with that, we sent out a survey um, a few weeks ago and we've been tracking that survey and reaching out to you, um, the public, with some of the answers that, and questions that you have from that survey. So if you have not yet had a second to complete the survey, you can find it at our website here at the Albuquerque Espano Chamber, www.ahcnm.org. It's right on our main page, on our front page, right when you go to the website. You can also find it on our COVID initiatives page, which is right up in the top navigation bar as well. And all of that is on there. And the third place that you can find it is pinned to the top of our Facebook page. Uh, it's five questions, five minutes, as I like to say, and it really helps us guide what you guys are looking for right now in the community, where you need us the most and need us to reach out to. And so with that being said, one of the questions that came through was, okay, I, I've applied for some of the federal disaster loan funding. Uh, you know, I'm working with Workforce Solutions when it comes to my employees and, and workers comp and all of that fun stuff. And we've, uh, we've tackled the PPP, but we're going to talk a little bit more about that today. And so the question was, is there anywhere else we can reach out to to find funding, whether it's during this time in particular for COVID? or if it's just a time that you need to get loans situated for your business and helping the expansion, the growth, the reopening, <clears throat> whatever it is that we're doing. So we've pulled this panel together in hopes that we can answer some of those questions today. So I would like to start uh, with Dream Spring and I'm gonna turn it over to Gabriella so that she can answer uh, those uh, questions for you, introduce you and your guests. And then uh, please, let's just get right into it. And uh, if you see my lips moving, I'm gonna mute. It's cause we're gonna try to get Leroy on on as well. So Gabriella, please take it away and welcome. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for inviting us. So I'm Gabriella Marcus. I'm market manager at DreamSpring. I also have Alfonso Ramos. I'm not sure where he is on the screen in relation to everyone. Um, and he's also a loan officer here in New Mexico. Uh, if you're not familiar with DreamSpring, we're a nonprofit organization. We've been serving a uh, small business in New Mexico for over 25 years. Um, and we are so blessed and lucky that we're able to support small businesses during this time. Uh, so I just wanted to address right into it that we are doing PPP loans, the Paycheck Protection Program. Um, and if there's specific questions, feel free to send it. I'm not sure how, but perhaps in the Facebook, however it's going, you can also share our website where individuals and small businesses can apply directly. So to the top right corner, it says apply now. And just and so you guys know, everybody on the panel, I'm sorry, I should have said that. We actually have um, Angelique, who's part of our team here, who fills the Facebook questions and then sends them to me. So as they uh, come up, I'll, I'll pull them out. So we're good. We're going to be working on questions. Perfect. Yeah. So I would highly encourage anyone who, so I'm just going to do a brief overview of the Paycheck Protection Program. Okay. So the Paycheck Protection Program is a, a government uh, loan program that was just enrolled two weeks ago. The first batch just ended last week, and we're very hopeful new funding is going to get approved by the end of the week. 
Uh, for small businesses, it's a forgivable loan. Uh, what we do is we calculate what's your average monthly sal uh, payroll for the business. And then two and a half times, that's what the business would qualify for the PPP loan. Um, and it's a forgivable loan if the funds are spent for payroll, rent, and utilities. Uh, if it's not spent that way, it's a loan at 1% over two years with no closing fee and six months of deferment payments. Uh, we would highly encourage everyone who thinks that perhaps they've already applied with the bank, but perhaps they feel that their name is really low on the list. Maybe they don't feel confident that the bank's able to be able to serve them, or they haven't had a chance to apply. As we know, funding ran out really quickly. Uh, please go to our website, dreamspring.org. Top right corner says apply now. It's a very simple application that we edited so that all businesses can apply. There's gonna be a few questions that are following SBA uh, requirements. And then there's an option of submitting documents. If you don't have your documents right away, feel free to go ahead and submit them. And then uh, we can follow up with you to get those documents. Uh, just so that you're aware, the documents we're gonna need is payroll verification for 2019. If you were in operation in 2019, so that means 941s or 940s, if you're a Schedule C, then Schedule C for 2019. If you open in 2019, then we just need payroll records from January 1st to February 29th, 2020. So that's a lot of technical information, but feel free to reach out to us uh, via email. I'm sure you guys can share it. Uh, I'll phone to Ramos email or my email, or you can go to our website and give us a call. So there's a lot of information, but hope it's helpful. <laughs> Uh, Afonso, do you want to say something? Yeah, I was going to say, let's jump over to Alfonso. I think it would be um, uh, great to hear from you. And then in a minute, I want to talk to you guys also a little bit about um, what is available. You know, there's all the rumors about, oh, everything in the world is sold out. And there, you know, we've maxed everything. And we want to kind of put uh, a little bit of uh, truth perspective on that so that small business owners um, can, can feel comfortable moving forward. So Alfonso, let's have you uh, jump in right here. Okay, well, uh, right now we have uh, some funds available. We have approved and enrolled by the SBA. Uh, so now we, we can fund the people, but it's really important that don't confuse this. The SBA has authorized as a, a lenders. So we are provide the funds in the form of a loan, but it's uh, totally full, forgivable. So, uh, yes, we in the in the process we um, make some advice to our customers how they can uh, keep the chances to be for, forgiven and to how they can uh, apply in the best way because our goal is that all our customer be forgiven. So this is really really important. Uh, so, maybe, sorry. I was gonna say, so yeah, Gabrielle, can you explain to us a little bit about that money that is available? Um, and, um, you know, typically right now we see a lot of small businesses getting um, responses from banks saying that either they're out. And, and I think that, um, you know, what maybe the public doesn't understand, and maybe it's not always explained the best, maybe we don't always do the best job, is that, you know, banks um, are definitely lending money, but the problem is some banks are capped by their lending ability and their lending caps. And so I think that it's not that we're out of money. So I think if you could just talk through that a little bit and, and about what DreamSpring can do to jump in and help these small business owners out, in particularly with the PPP or any other loans that you guys are funding right now. Sure. So maybe I'll just go back a little bit. So when the ACTS CARES Act was passed two weeks ago, there was the PPP program that was approved and that's that was one piece of it, which many banks received thousands and millions of applications across the country. So many banks are still working through that queue and that's perhaps why if you reach out to a larger bank, they might say we can't take any more applications because they're still processing thousands of other applications, right? Um, so that's for the PPP. Uh, if perhaps a business owner applied for the economic injury disaster loan, and they have, we've seen a lot of questions like they haven't heard back from the SBA. Uh, the loan piece will probably take a few weeks until the SBA is able to process everything. The grant piece that's up to $10,000 and the wording itself in advance 
we've sent, we've heard from a lot of clients that they've already received that piece. So that's exciting that the SBA is moving ahead and depositing. So just have to check your business bank account because uh, they are depositing uh, about a thousand to thousand, depending on the number of employees for the business. Um, there is also other funding available uh, that I am familiar with that is a guaranteed program from the New Mexico Economic Development Department. If you go on their website, there is a list of lending institutions that are moving forward with that loan request. Uh, it's a loan up to 50,000 for businesses that have been affected by COVID-19. Uh, and it's a really great uh, program that the New Mexico Economic Development Department is offering. So the state is only guaranteeing that program. So a lender still has to go through it. And if you go to their website, there's like a list of lenders that you can contact them. Uh, so yeah, so for the Paycheck Protection Program, the federal funding that was 349 billion did get exhausted two weeks well last week, and most likely another 300 billion is going to be approved by the end of the week. So what that means is either way, the lending institution, the bank, has to have the funds up front to give to the small business owner, and then funding is going to be set aside for that business by the government. So hopefully by Friday or Saturday, whenever the government opens it up, all the lending institutions are gonna be applying on the SBA website to secure funding for the small businesses. Uh, Dream Spring as an institution, we have a max of 250,000 per PPP request, because that's our, our limits with the SBA. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit of that information. I'm happy to answer any other questions as well. So one of the questions I have for you guys is, tell us about some of the loans that you do that are um, non-traditional in the sense of we don't go to a bank, but traditional for what you guys do that are not necessarily COVID involved. And, and that way people can kind of understand and how they need to connect with you guys moving forward. Sure. So outside of COVID-19 times, <laughs> we are an alternative lender, meaning that we can be more flexible on how we're looking at credit history and how we're looking at the collateral, how we're looking at financials to approve a loan. So we have a loan product called the Presto program where it's really based on the FICO history and really the character of the individual to see how much funds we can approve. So as an alternative lender, we can definitely do startups, uh, which is different than traditional banks. We have plenty of stories of taking interesting collateral for the loans. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit of what DreamSpring does. I don't know if Alfonso wants to add anything else. That, of course, was up to a month ago. We have actually sp stopped all lending until COVID ends. We're only focusing, we've changed all of our staff to really focus on PPP because we want to make sure as many New Mexico businesses have access to that funding right